Hello everyone, it's Kyle Dahl with Scorpion Power Systems. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about how to download and save your logs off of your Scorpion Tribunus ESC. So here we go. The Tribunus ESCs has a very good logging feature. It logs a ton of information. Uh, things like the throttle percent, uh, current, voltage, milliamp consumption, temperature of the ESC, power, so wattage, and then the BEC voltage and the motor RPM. With all of this data, you have access to pretty much any of the information that you would need out of an ESC. The way the logging works on the Tribunus ESC is that it's constantly writing new information and overwriting old information. So there's a certain amount of memory that's set aside for the log. I think it's around 30 minutes worth of time. And basically, if you have a brand new ESC, for the first 30 minutes of use, it will be um, writing all new information. And then as time goes on, it will just overwrite the old information and keep writing the new information in. In this way, you have access to not only just your last flight, but also a bunch of flights before that. If an average flight is uh, five minutes, then that means that your previous six flights are still stored. And that's great if you want to look back in your logs to see how many amps you're pulling on average. Or uh, if you have some issue and you want to try to pinpoint it, you can go back and look uh, for sure and find that information in your log. To do this is a very simple process. You'll just need to hook it up to your computer using the S-Proto program. If you've never done that before, make sure you check out my other video on how to hook up and connect your ESC to the PC. So let's go ahead and do this. One note before we continue. After I had already filmed this whole video, I realized that I had forgotten one step in this process which has to do with how the RPM value is displayed. So if you're watching this video in the next scenes, you're going to see that my RPM value is showing a really high number. And that's because I forgot to set the pull pair and the gear ratio for the motor in the S-Proto program. So don't be confused by that, I'm, but I'm going to go ahead and explain how to do that now first. So let's do that. Since the ESC doesn't know what motor you're using, it doesn't know how many pull pairs it has, and also if you're using this on a helicopter, it doesn't know what gear ratio you're using, it can't know by itself what RPM value to display. So we have to go in and set the pull pair and the gear ratio in the S-Proto program. For those of you who are using the VWARE control, even if you have the um, pull pairs and gear ratio set in your VWARE governor setup, you will still need to do this setup in your S-Proto program if you want your log to display the right value. The value which will be shown in the log if you don't set your pull pairs and gear ratio will just be the number of computations that the ESC is sending to drive the motor. But if we want to see the correct RPM on our screen, we need to set these values. One other note, um, setting the pull pairs and the gear ratio doesn't actually affect in any way how the ESC actually drives the motor. It's only a calibration thing so that the log shows the correct RPM. To set these values is very easy to do. All you need to do is go onto the S-Proto program, click on configuration, and here we'll set the pull pairs and the gear ratio. So on any Scorpion motor that you'll use, or any other motor for that matter, it will tell you how many pulls the motor has. So a pull pair is just pull number divided by two. So this motor, for example, is a 10 pull, as is most of Scorpion motors. Um, so my pull pair would be five. Then my gear ratio, if this is on an airplane, I'm just gonna leave it at one. Uh, if this is on a helicopter, I'll take my main gear count divided by my pinion to give me my gear ratio. On my Logo 800, I believe that would be 10.294, I think. Anyway, once I have those values set, then I just make sure I save this. ESC will reset. After I've finished this step, then the ESC will now be displaying the correct RPM on the S-Proto program and also in the logs. So now we'll get back to my original video that I was making. Just don't forget that you'll see really high RPM values on the next video, but uh, don't let that confuse you. If you do this step, it will be just fine. So let's go ahead and do this. Once you have the ESC hooked up to the S-Proto program, there's a few steps that we need to do. 
I have a lot of people write me and ask and say, well, I connected my ESC to the program and I go to the log and it's blank. There's no information. Well, that's because we haven't yet actually loaded the log from the ESC to the computer. There's a ton of information in the log and it takes some time to load. So if you want to view the log, we first need to load the log from the ESC onto the PC. So we do that doing this button here, which is the log update button. So we'll go ahead and click this. Now, this, like I said, this is a ton of information. So this process takes uh, a couple minutes. Now that we have the log loaded from the ESC onto the computer, we can go ahead and access it. So as I said, you'll go in and you'll click into the log tab. And then here we can check on which value that we want to see or any combination of value that we want to see. So I can see my throttle, current, voltage, milliamps consumed, temperature, power, BEC voltage, RPM. So you can put all of the information on the screen or whichever the information that you want to see. If you want to compare you know, current to power, wattage, or throttle percentage to wattage, anything like that, you can go ahead and do it. As I said, the ESC records an enormous amount of data and it's not actually a fixed time uh, frame. It depends on what's going on. If the ESC is just sitting like this, it will only record every second or so just as like an update. Um, but if you're in a flight, it's recording much more often and much more data. Every peak and stuff like that is getting recorded. So when you look at the log like this, it's not just displaying your last flight. It's actually displaying every bit of information that the ESC has been recording. If you look on the right side of my screen here, you'll see that there's not a lot of information, not a lot going on. And that's just from when I've been recording these tutorials. But if you look on the left, you'll see these peaks. Now these are from when I actually was flying this ESC on my Logo 800. So there's a lot of information to take in, but I'll tell you how best to navigate it. The best way that I've found to help navigate these logs is to go ahead and first click on the consumption tab. Now this shows how many milliamps were used from the battery. So it really helps you break down where the flight was actually happening in the log. Because of course, uh, at the start of a flight, you have zero milliamps used. And then as you go through the flight, you're using more and more milliamps. And then when you unplug it, it goes down. So this will help me find out where the actual flights were in this log. So here I have three flights recorded. Next, I can click on what value I want to see. So if I'll click on my current, I'll see, of course, that the currents are happening within this. Uh, if I want to zoom in on this particular flight, I can just click uh, and drag down and to the right. And then this will zoom in on that section of the flight. So I can see here um, the amps that I was pulling. I can zoom in more. I can see my max amps was about 122 on this flight. Then to zoom out, I can just click, click and drag to the up and left. This will zoom out. So by doing this, just uh, clicking down and to the right to zoom, and up and to the left to zoom out. You can really navigate your logs and you can see all of the information that you need to and you can compare. If you're using this on an airplane, you could compare your throttle percentage to your RPM. So you can see things like that. One other feature with the Tribunus logging is that you have the option to not only view this as a chart, but also as a table. So if you want to click on that, uh, you can go in. As I said, this is showing every bit of data that the ESC has recorded. So at the top of the list is your oldest data. So if you want to look at something recent, just take the little slider and scroll all the way to the bottom. Uh, as I said, since I've been filming this Tribuna series, there's a lot of nothing going on. But uh, I can go back up into when I was actually flying and you can see every line of data that was recorded. So you can see at every point how many milliamps was, con uh, how many milliamps was consumed, what the cur uh, voltage, current, throttle percent, uh, RPM, every bit of information, you can see it here. Now onto the next part of this video is actually saving this log and then how to load it back onto the S-Proto program so you can view it at a later time if you want. 
So to do this, you need to do all the steps that we've done to this point. Hook up the ESC to the computer, uh, update, load the log onto the PC. Once you've done that, you can just simply click on log save, give it a file name, and hit save. This doesn't take long at all. And then if I want to, at a later point in time, I want to look back on my log, uh, if I change the prop or something like this and I want to compare, you can just go into log load, find that one, click it, open it, it will load it in, and then you can again, you can just click on whatever you want to see, same like before. So there you have it, that's everything that you need to know about the Scorpion Tribunus logging features. Um, how to view it, how to save it, and how to load it back in to view it at a later time. I hope you found it informative, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.